Dre, you know you have a very distinctive voice, right? I think uh, you really some other guy have said that. It's a very gruffy voice. Like, yeah, it's not very clear, is it? You would you would make a maybe next next year for Halloween, you should be Batman. <laughs> You'd be good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. The dark knight is six feet. We're jumping All around. Right. This is Yoshi's story. Let's go. So this is actually going to be a, a match where anything can happen. And because of that, it's going to be really yeah. exciting to commentate. You got four top tiers. <laughs> I think the sound is deceased, so... Yeah, it's, but it was a lot worse before. Okay, so I, we're just going to have to go with it for now. Yeah. Okay, so they were... Their blue team is uh, Team Houston. Team, quote unquote, Austin is red team. So I'm looking right. for the way I see it in my my head is that uh, uh, Team Austin, red team, Falco is gonna do a lot of the the damaging with fa uh, lasers and uh, combos, and Sheik is gonna, you know, finish finish the stocks off with the edge guards, right? Because Falco. Yeah, and also like be more like a tank for the stocks and then also use needles to save Falco in case he needs it. Yeah, that's that's true so actually. Usually in teams Falco wants to like up B off stage so that the Sheik has time to purposely give him after like he's used his fire and then use the needle to reset the up B. He just needs to be aware of like the, the other two opponents so that they don't like push him further off the okay, stage. Okay, this is nice by MT. Uh, he had them both MT's the Falco, by the way, and he had them both on the right platform and comboed the both the mess out of them. <clears throat> nice. Oh, MT yeah, just goes really, in randomly. Yeah, I love seeing the laser in the forward smash. When, when you catch the opponent mid-air for the laser, it leaves them with little nothing. They're like mentally paralyzed. The best they could do for Marth, in this case, is probably a fair, but he has a really small timing window to react to it. Okay. Yeah, MT is Falco. Uh, he's going on a Falco binge because he hasn't played this character, even though it, he knows it's his soulmate. Okay, let's try to kill Marth off the top. Okay, nice, nice separation by Red Team right there. They got in, in between both the blue members. Right. MT channeling his inner Tierno. That F smash. Whoa. Was that a crazy angle or what? Oh, I missed it though. That was a nice angle, I think. I just saw that Fox landed on Randall. And, but I don't see how it... Wow. Back throw just denies Falco. Uh, Fal Marth dies off the top. Nice back air re-grab. Holy smokes. And now... We're going to feast on Fox tonight. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> he just right, goes and just tries to Shino stall over there. just walling Mojo yeah. out with bears. This is just a done deal. He got, he took 56% uh, for trying to hold the ledge. Trying to play it safe. And it's, now he's playing aggressive and it's working out. Wow, Randall the homie helping MT out, knowing that it's not his main. And first game goes to Team Asia. Yeah, smiles everywhere. Everyone's happy, dude. Yeah, and then we have Jesus and Marth. <laughs> 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 we have Hipster Jesus and Marth. Oh, I get it. Whoa, the horn started playing, and we were still timing down. All right, shoot the lasers. So I've teamed with Gar, or the Red Sheik, and he likes me to go in. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same case now. Oh, that now. was an unfortunate air dodge off stage. That was an unfortunate air dodge, but no, not too bad, because they're holding the lead. To tech it, so right, right. To that happens when you just get slid off, right? It happens all the time against like lower level players when they fight foxes. Right. Knocks them over. Yeah, anything that semi spikes you, right? Uh huh. So Gar. He's letting MT get destroyed, and he does get destroyed, and now he's getting destroyed himself. Hi, Mike. You should stand over there. Just, just get on stream, dude. 
<laughs> Alright, so we have Mike on the stream now. Y'all can see him. He just has his mouth open, even though he's not playing the game, because he's really excited. Uh, Randy up smash beats dash attack. Alright. Jake is doing really well holding these stocks. Um, I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but oh. he's obviously the stock tank here. Holding his ground. Wow, he's edge guarding both of these guys. Nice. Nice counter. Because of that counter, they took the stock. You saw it? Yeah, because that was amazing. Yeah, that was a counter Falco off stage. He should be dead. Yeah, he should be dead. But the thing was, that was a read counter. And now he's doing more counters. Uh -huh. uh, he's, he's, he's bringing new tech to the table, man. Alright, this Marth is going to hold the edge, protect the edge for the Fox. And now they have center stage control. Prime position for blue team to make something happen. And oh, now that, red team has... And Marth Ferret pretty much set, set up the Falco for the pair of the Fox. Rip Sheik. Oh, can I see the... Whenever you're done. Oh, that see was the greatest DI on the up air. That Falco is so... <laughs> poor uh, Falco. Alright, uh, this is a done deal. This is why doubles is hard for me. As Falco, everyone wants to kill me. Well, yeah. But then you have to remember that you're just amazing at throwing out moves. With yeah. little lag and strong, strong hitboxes and all of that. The thing about Falco... I think with lower level players is that once they get hit, they get mentally paralyzed and then they just kind of freeze there. That but forward air to back air combo. Up, up, up tilt covered every option Falco had there. I don't know why he up beat there. But this is done deals, man. Oh, what the? Okay, okay yeah, he should have spiked it. for the cool style points. But, alright, well. Team Hipster, Hipster Jesus and Marth win this time. <laughs> Asia. Having to think about what to do next match. Alright, let's guess their counter pick. Not How would I have known this? How would I have known this? <clears throat> okay. Is this mainly so Mark can't up tilt through the platforms as easily? Yeah, absolutely. So so sometimes in teams you um it's not necessarily like what's gonna what stage is going to um beat both of these guys, right? You have to. Sometimes it's it's. There's just not that many stages, so it's more like, okay, who did more work last match? And I guess they're thinking that it was Marth, so they 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 bring uh they bring him to this stage to cripple just Marth and reduce the effectiveness of blue team as a whole because of that. All right, so Mojo finds himself on the right side. He's gonna. Let's go. Sign up for singles hype. Let's go. Yeah. I think that's estimated to start out an hour. What would you say? Oh, yeah. Whatever. Smash boards, smash boards say that. Or I think it's at four. Yeah. It starts. See, you saw uh, right there, Sheik upbeat, and Marth was swinging his sword. But because of the high platforms, he... He only covers so much of it, and Sheik was able to live. It might not have been the case on like a stage like Yoshi's or something like that. Yeah. All right. Wow. This this blue fox is doing some work. This blue fox is doing some work. Right now, Guard's doing a pretty good job of holding the stocks for the red team. And so, so it makes sense, right? So yeah. last last uh, match we saw that Marth was a stock tank, but here they're they're doing better against the Marth. Ooh. Okay, they're calming the he they're calming the mess out of Blue Fox now. When you play doubles, do you usually like just like to go head on, or do you usually? Well, I mean, I play Pika, so I have to go head on. Okay. I mean, I it does not help to just thunder jolt away. Okay, this is a done deal. Like play to defend your partner. What a great counter pick, dude. What an awesome counter pick. Look at all the space they have to move around. Yeah. 
yeah, all the space. Not only is it all the space uh, to move around, but then uh, Falco oh. just gets... Ooh, double dare. Yeah, so man. smart. That was definitely worth it. So, so smart. This guy's IQ must be at least 3,000. Okay, back air into <laughs> Miss Fair, but we'll forgive you for that, Gar. All right. All right what's gonna yeah, yeah, he wanted a forward throw right there to dare, but um, Ivan was not on the same wavelength as him. Oh, uh -oh. go down there. Oh, uh, shoot Ivan. Mr. Sheik, go do something. Oh, uh, lasers. This is pretty much a done deal. So if you ever go to a tournament and you see a dude running stream, just say hi to him and tell him keep up the good work. Because without without streams, you know, you wouldn't be able to witness esports at home, yeah? Yeah. Like they're doing so much work for us. They didn't even have to. No one no one pays them or anything like that. Mm -hmm. it's just just give them your respect. Because that's all they're looking for. It's a it must be mentally frustrating to have to run into technical difficulties yeah, every yeah, now yeah. and this then. Is, like, just this with the sound error and the desyncing, all that. Just esports, or um, what am I saying? Esports in general is a is a community effort, and there's two main there's two main uh, drivers like streams to increase popularity to to have people come out to tournaments, and then the TOs which run the tournament, right? Yeah. Both are equally, okay. or I would say TOs are more important. For the for the you know community, but then right. stream three so, also. It's like Jake there. made the switch to Falco after CP into FD. So I'm going to bird. Blue Falco. I think what he wants is to just have the combo ability that Falco has on both of these characters. Falco can combo both Sheik and Falco, obviously. And let's see if he can do that. Sometimes I watch FD and I don't know what's going on in the background. Like I guess we're inside of a hard drive right now. And all of a sudden you'll just see like you go into another <laughs> And then we go into another universe. Wow, oh, nice I angle the by... Fast, the angle and then the fast fall. Yeah, that and was a top tier eight. recovery by uh, by MT. That's crazy. He plays Marth and he knows about angles. Yeah, the guy's been playing competitively for, what, six years now? Yeah, but these angles, like, you still have to practice them, right? So maybe he does uh -huh. practice secretly. Maybe he gets tired of Marth every night. That's Ooh. true. But I feel like once you watch and play a little bit for, like, long enough, you start to... It's it still really hard to do the muscle memory, right? Uh huh. Of the of especially like in the heat of battle, right, this right. level of play. Yeah. Uh, they are tearing this team apart. Uh, I think what it is is they're doing this keep away stuff. Uh, in between stocks, they just Jake or the Blue Falco. He likes to shoot lasers, keep them away, and that's why he's living for so long. He's not going in all the time, right? Mm -hmm. He's choosing his uh his time. To go in. Oh, that should be a yeah, smash. If you're, not, if you're not hitting the other opponent, uh, you know that done deal. Oh, done deal, baby. Ooh, all right, this is a done deal. This is actually a done deal. I feel like in doubles, like you gotta know when to hit and run, and when you it's safe to combo. Yeah. While you're hitting. So, so you see that? Um, she can't get anything if if the lasers are or the lasers by Falco are placed well, right? Uh huh. They gotta be pretty low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Unless if she can't get anything started, she's pretty much a useless character, right? Uh -huh. She needs the ground, but she the ground is taken taken care of by lasers. So what does she have, right? Short hops. Short, short hops. Short hops goes pretty high, but but Falco then there's also lasers for that too, right? So it's just hard for Sheik to get something started with this team comp, right? Yeah, but then again, like when Sheik is in the air, Falco doesn't have. It's not just lasers. Like you can just wait exactly, for them, exactly. It's, it's so dangerous to challenge the fair because you can usually L cancel and then just jab to keep them. It's away two two man. for a grab. So so you you see why that that team comp worked, right? Falco. Not only did they choose Falco, 
instead of Marth as before, but they took him to FD, which has no platforms, making lasers that much more effective. Right? So they pretty much shut down um, Sheik and then, you know, had their way with MT's secondary yeah. output. Ooh. And it doubles. Go for the bird. Go for roast. the bird, baby. Alright. A game five situation. Ha! What? Someone died. Oh no. Come on, Mojo. Don't do this, dude. This is winner's finals. This is for a guaranteed second place. Okay. Lots of blips going on. Okay. MT's combo blip, blip in two two. MP's combos aren't aren't too amazing or anything, but he does the the bread and butter ones really well. Oh no. I think if yeah, if Red Team wants to win this, Ivan has to do the work. Ivan being the guy with the shiny head. <laughs> <laughs> That's car shop for you Twitch followers. I mean, uh, Twitter followers. Yeah, this guy's just. Oh, wow. What a shine spike. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Jake continuing to tank the stocks for his. Yeah. For him and his homie. Yeah, they just turned it up, dude. They just turned it oh. up. Oh. Okay, MT wisely not uh, jumping into the forward tilt there on the left side. And oh, he F SDs because the pressure is getting to him. Austin Melee is frowning now upon you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Austin, lend us your energy. <laughs> Use it right now. Austin give right. it. Killed yeah. some. Sorry. Sorry, that was really biased actually. Nah, nah, this is <laughs> this is not esports. <laughs> you can try to you can try to do esports if you want. Nah, that's a lot harder. Like, yeah. I tried doing tourney locator commentary at Forte, and it was pretty awful. Like, there was zero hype in my commentary. I tried to be all analytical and shit. Well, well, well oh, on tourney locator? Yeah. Well, I was commentating with a bonsai warrior, I think. Yeah. He had a lot of energy in his voice, so he pretty much did all the work there. Yeah. But his pipe, I guess his hype attracted more attention for, like, new viewers who are just getting Is there into no sound now or something? Is there sound now? Why they keep saying like sound rip or something? They're just joking or something. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, what is it? <sighs> Commentary. Anyways, so this is looking almost even. This, this is pretty even. Yeah. Uh, mm, it's gonna be hard though. Whoa! This is Sheik should have died right there, and now Sheik. MT's trying to do some work, but Fox top tier, always gonna make it back. Always gonna make it back. Oh, I love the laser to interrupt MT's edge guard attempt on Mojo. That was good. He better take the stock now. This is scary stuff. Sheik needs to do something. And now he's out of the picture. This is a done deal. Uh, I don't know this is a done deal. Oh boy. Wow, nice get up attack. Oh, here we go. That's a done deal. He's gonna go high. Yep. Oh man. He's gonna go. Oh, Whoa! Man, he got here we go. Too late. Just... Here we go. Now everyone's nervous. This is for second place. Oh no! I can't breathe right now. Oh no! This is too nerve wracking. Nah, it's not oh, too nerve wracking. I don't think that was safe. <laughs> yeah. Not safe. <laughs> not safe. <laughs> not safe for work. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for Smash, more like. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe for winners finals.